today I'm going to be talking to you about one of the legitimately most useful things that you can do during your time as a medical student to set yourself up for the future. It was actually recommended to me by a surgeon colleague while I was in my second year of medical school and it's just a very practically useful piece of advice. And through a sheer bit of luck, a few years later, the very same organisation that I signed up for back then has reached out to sponsor today's video. And this is just a really organic, positive quirk of fate. This video is being scripted a very long time before this organisation reached out. So thank you doctors.net.uk for reaching out to sponsor today's video and you'll hear more about them in just a few minutes. So to get down to things very quickly, what is this most useful piece of advice? It is registering for your doctors.org.uk email address, which you get access to through signing up and joining doctors.net.uk. It really is as simple as that. Simply go over to their website via the link in the description below, make your free account and then wait for your email account to be verified. Yes, you can do this even as a medical student, you don't have to be a qualified doctor. As I said, I did it in my second year of medical school. Now I'm sure at this point a few people are asking, well, why is this important enough to warrant its own video? And the answer is really about consolidation. What you really need to remember is that as a medical student, especially if you have a lot going on, you work with societies or you have academic projects, you'll have emails flying around all over the place. And that's okay, many people do, but eventually you will lose access to your university academic email address, the one that ends in .ac.uk. And this happens usually a year or so after you graduate and leave medical school. Now for most people of course this isn't a major problem but what it does mean for those of you that have contacts, projects, things that you want to maintain long term and you need to continue to receive updates on you shouldn't point those emails at an email account that is eventually going to evaporate. Often when carrying out projects, you'll need access to things like academic databases or other secure services for which you need ongoing access. Again, if you lose access to that email address, sometimes you will simply lose access to those services altogether and have to start over. The other thing, of course, is it just helps you stay more organised. It's infinitely sensible to separate your personal email address. Most people will have, like, a Gmail, a Hotmail if you're old enough, something like that. But it's really helpful to be able to keep anything research-based or clinical separate from your personal email address, especially when security is really important. Purely speaking for myself, I operate four email inboxes routinely that I have to check every day and make sure that I can still get into. I have obviously my personal email address for correspondence, my professional doctors.org.uk email address for academic and clinical communication. I then have my NHS email address for work, sending referrals, discussing patients, that kind of thing. And then a BMA email address, for my union work, the list goes on and on and on. And all of those are highly secure with two-factor authentication in place to make sure everything is safe. But essentially the thrust of this video is sign up to the website, get your doctors.org email address as soon as you can and start redirecting any important professional or academic stuff to that email address in the years to come. But what else can doctors.net.uk do for you? It's a lot more than a simple email address generator. It's actually a massive professional network of almost 250,000 doctors. It's pretty mad that it's a free service, really, given the amount on there. The feature I use the most at the moment is the news feed, which keeps you up to date, obviously, with the latest news in the UK medical space. You know that I like to make videos as often as I can to update you all on what's going on within the NHS and healthcare more widely, and the doctors.net.uk newsfeed is one of the core places where I get my aggregates from. The education section is really useful as well. All through our careers, we are asked to show evidence of CPD, beginning in the foundation program and never really stopping. The free education resources are accredited for CPD points, meaning you can use them to show evidence of ongoing learning. The library feature is similar, providing an up-to-date bulletin of academic articles in your particular area. If I set it to general practice, for example, I'll get a series of article titles and other relevant resources here on the right-hand side. There's also an incentivized market research section, which, as the name suggests, allows you to participate in market research, which you can then redeem for points, which you can then later trade in for gift cards once you accrue enough points which can be a nice little learner if you have the time and inclination. And lastly, the other major element in my book is the forum. 
I'm not going to show too much of it, but this is a discussion area where doctors of all grades can come together and discuss the most prescient issues. And remember that unlike something like a Facebook page or an Instagram comment section, this is a safe, regulated, gated community. There's a lot of medical discourse that often plays out in more open online forums, which makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Your valid ID is checked during the registration process for doctors.net. Although do note that the forum section is only available once you qualify as a doctor and upgrade your account. So you can have a reasonable degree of confidence that everyone is who they say they are. So that's a look at doctors.net.uk, a really useful website that I use myself every day, mostly for the email client as they know, but also the fantastic suite of other resources that they offer. As you know, I prioritize working with organizations and brands that I regularly use myself, and this was one of the easiest deals I've ever made. So go and get your doctors.org.uk email address today. And the best part is that they are just now rolling out their refer a friend feature to student members. So if you sign up and then a friend signs up using your referral code, you'll get 10 pounds in reward points you'll both receive 10 pounds in reward points absolutely free. And lastly, of course, make sure that you head over there using my link in the description below so they know that I sent you. Thanks very much guys, take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.